Hey YouTubers, Eli Adobe Tech. This is gonna be a quick and dirty video on this, based on this P0125 and sufficient coolant temperature for closed loop fuel control. This is also like a P0128. I'm not sure if GM replaced this P0125 with the P0128. If this code, this code is only for the early OBD2 vehicles. This is a 99 Chevy Cavalier with a 2.2 liter engine. But both codes pretty much mean the same. Pretty much what it means that is that the uh, computer can now detect that the coolant, te the coolant temperature sensor that it cannot go beyond uh, 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The computer goes through a little test mode for about 120 seconds. So if the coolant temperature sensor cannot go beyond 113 beyond 113 degrees Fahrenheit within the within that 120 seconds, it will trigger this this P0125. And also your system will your fuel system will go into open loop status, which will drive your fuel trims negative. So that's the purpose of the loop fuel control, closed loop fuel control. Um, potential reasons why this P0125 kicks in, it's either because your thermostat is stuck open or stuck closed, or your thermostat has been removed from the vehicle. Um, the customer also stated that this vehicle had an overheating problem three, four months ago, so he took it to a shop. The mechanic told him at that time that the reason that his overheating was occurring, it was due to a, uh, to a radiator fan that was not kicking in when it was supposed to kick in. But the radiator motor was fine. You know, supposedly, you know, he did a, uh, a manual operation. The fan did kick in, but when the computer was supposed to turn it on, it was not turning on. So he told him that to fix that problem, that he was going to wire an external switch to the radiator fan control circuit. So that's the control circuit right there by the footwell. So he told him to fix this problem that. He, he was supposed to turn the uh, radiator fan manually with that switch. I'm not sure how true is that. I'm not sure if the, if the mechanic did a troubleshooting on the circuit because he never did mention the to the customer it was due probably to a faulty driver for the for the radiator fan control circuit. You know, just to you know, just for the fact that. This P1621 control module long-term memory performance usually it means that that there's an action in an internal PCM failure. I'm not sure if this is the, the reason why this radio fan was not kicking in. Perhaps this is just a glitch. So depending on the customer, if he decides decides to go deeper into the, this P1621. I might do another video, who knows, or it is what it is. So at the same time, I also did my own little check to see if the vehicle had a thermostat installed. The way I determined that the vehicle did not have a thermostat installed, something that the perhaps the mechanic removed it from the vehicle to also help the symptom of the vehicle overheating but he never told him I'm not blaming the mechanic 100% because who knows if it was him or not but maybe it's most likely that he did remove the thermostat since the vehicle did not have any problems before he took it there or before it started overheating 3-4 months ago So, so this is the reason why we have this P0125. Because the vehicle cannot reach its temperature, normal, normal range temperature for the coolant. Due to the fact that the thermostat is not installed. So it takes longer for it to go into closed loop. Alright guys, so... One way that I verified that the vehicle was missing the thermostat is if, if you route the 
uh, the hose that routes to the thermostat housing. And if you squeeze that hose, and if you hear the jiggle valve that's on the thermostat make noise, that pretty much confirms that the thermostat is installed on the vehicle. But if you don't hear that jiggle valve make any noise, that's pretty much a confirmation that the thermostat has been removed from the vehicle. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. All right guys, so that's the pressure tester on the um, reservoir of the coolant. This is the uh, location where the thermostat lives on this 2.2 liter engine, Chevy Cavalier 99. So this is what I did. I pretty much squeezed the uh, the hose. And there's no jiggle valve making any noise. So that's what made me confirm that this vehicle has no thermostat. Like I said, perhaps the mechanic removed it. I'm not sure. It doesn't really show signs of any uh, tampering here. So I'm not sure. Or maybe this thermostat was already removed a long time ago from the previous owner and this is the uh, the wiring that the mechanic did for the customer this is uh, the, the the red wires that go to the uh, circuit of the uh, of the radiator fan all right guys so hopefully this video makes sense it helps any big owner that has a p0125 so pretty much, you know, to look into those areas of the thermostat, probably stuck open, stuck closed, or perhaps it has been removed. All right, guys. So this is Eli the OBD Tech. Subscribe if you like. All right, guys. So this is gonna be just a little small bonus clip on this video. You know, showing you guys the uh, fuel trims, the symptoms whenever you remove a thermostat from the vehicle or when you have a thermostat stuck open it will drive the short term and long term to negative all right guys